Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm not doing a tutorial, uh, or at least for this video. I am going to be doing a chit chat get unready with me, uh, because I do want to actually film later today, or kind of right after this. Uh, so I need to take off the makeup I'm wearing, because I, I've been wearing this all day. Um, to kind of take you backstage just a little bit, I pre-film all my videos, and it is currently June 26th, 2020. And I actually haven't filmed in a couple weeks because I actually have been back at work. Uh, my uh, job at a restaurant, I'm a hostess, um, they decided to resume training, um, keeping a safe distance, checking everybody's temperature, and um, keeping people separated as much as possible, but they want to be up and running. So even though we're still in the middle of a pandemic and I'm still being safe, I'm wearing a mask, washing my hands, etc., cetera, uh, I, I have been back at work, so I actually haven't filmed in like three weeks or almost something crazy like that. So I'm happy to be back. Um, if you wanted to know, I am drinking uh, just my Te Instant, the lemon one. It's just instant lemon tea. I made it iced today because it is hot. It has gotten really summery, which is good, but oof. Yeah, we're just gonna jump right into it. We're gonna get unready so that I can then film next because I miss doing my makeup fully. So let's, we'll just begin. I'm just gonna talk. Um, we're first obviously just gonna take everything off. I'm not gonna explain what I'm doing. You know how to take makeup off. I'm, I'm basically just prepping my skin so I can then put makeup on later. <sighs> anyway. But yeah, I mean, it's been kind of a crazy, um, couple weeks for me with my job starting up and then also with there was one video I did get pushed out which I'm glad I did um, which was using black owned beauty products because of the black lives matter I really wanted to use black owned products in that video it wasn't a full face of that because that is definitely something I need to get better at is buying black owned and I'm planning on starting to just, at least for now, if I want to buy new makeup, buying exclusively from black owned brands, just because I want to build a collection and support the black community that way with my, you know, with my money, which we do live in a capitalist society and money sort of makes the world go around. And while I don't want money to define me, I want, I do want to put my money where I'm supporting. Speaking of, um, I know I know nobody watches these. I know it's mostly my mother and my sister, hi, and my aunt, hi, who watch this. I do just want to put out there though, because I just in general want to, is that I do own a lot of Jeffree Star products. Mostly his lipsticks and I have a couple highlighters and two eyeshadow palettes. And there's been a ton of controversy online, always, but especially now, um, with all of that and how Jeffree Star is a, has a racist past, racist tendencies, and even though he has apologized, he's not owned up necessarily to those mistakes, and it's it's a lot of gray area, and it's, it's also not my place to say if he is or isn't a racist, because I'm, I'm white. That doesn't, that doesn't, it's not my place to say that because I'm not the one experiencing racism. Um, however, I do have a lot of his products. I currently plan to no longer buy Jeffree Star Pop products because I don't want to support him and that brand until we see real change and it's an odd time. I'm just trying to navigate as best as everybody else, but yes, I'm, I'm currently not going to be buying anything else and supporting him. That being said, uh, because I do have his some products already purchased. I am going to be using them still because I don't want them to go to waste in the sense of like I don't want to contribute to landfills and it's really wasting product because I buy it all with my own money and I'm trying not to be wasteful and use what I have. Again, once I start running out of things, I'm planning on buying black owned. I just, I wanted to put that out there in the world just so that I have that on record like, hey, I know I have Jeffree Star products, I know I use them, and I use them in my videos, I use them in my day-to-day -day life. I'm not going to be promoting it in the sense of like, you should buy it, which I have before, because the formula is good, but I don't think it's right for me to be promote that until we see some accountability and some actual change happen. Um, 
but I just wanted to say, like, I do, I'm still going to be using it. Um, yeah, it's been kind of a crazy, good, crazy, bad, crazy, kind of all at the same time, a couple weeks. Um, it's hard to, it's hard to kind of know what to feel and it's, it's tough because I want to do the right thing and I want to do right by, um, black and indigenous and people of color and it's, it's trying to navigate that and I am learning, I'm growing every day, I'm trying to educate myself every single day and more and more I just want to That's the word I'm looking for. I want to be part of the change and change myself so that I am furthering better people. Wait, <laughs> didn't make sense. Um, do you know what I mean? Like, I want to support people. I have a love of people, and I am a Christian, and I know that's kind of a hot topic, especially in the States right now, but I prescribe to real Christianity, which is we are all made in God's image. We are his children, sons and daughters, and so I want to the crazy injustice and supremacy that has become rampant not only in this country but in the world and also in myself like I know that I myself have had like a race I have a racist past I'm white I I grew up in predominantly white neighborhoods I grew up in you know not super wealthy but mostly wealthy I went to a school we had 16 nationalities represented sure but we had maybe five black kids in my grade like it I, I come from a very, very privileged background and I've had some racist thoughts and tendencies in the past. I have grown up and I have, you know, come to a more diverse city, which is Philadelphia, and learned and heard the stories of my fellow black, um, black neighbors, black friends, black, um, and people of color and indigenous people who went to my school as well. I'd never had contact with that before So I got to learn and I'm growing and learning doesn't stop. I'm growing every day and I have a, I'm having a hard time making this video as well just because it's not my place to say anything. It's really not. It is I am another just a regular. I'm another white girl. You don't need to be listening to me You need to be listening to black voices and I want to uplift that and I've been trying to uplift that on my social media and stuff it's it's just a lot to navigate not to say that I don't want to do it but it is a lot that's good and I'm exhausted and I can only imagine how more exhausted people who are people of color who can't just turn off their skin color you can't turn that off I, I, I can in a way, I can turn off learning because I have the privilege to do so, but I don't want to anymore. I don't like living in ignorance, I don't, I don't want to offend anybody, I don't want to be harmful to anybody anymore, and I don't know, it, it, this is kind of just a rant now, I'm done with my skin, I, I'm good, I just been a tough couple weeks and I've been out and seeing the first hand everything and again I'll never experience it and it my heart breaks for those who do experience horrendous horrific tragedies and brutality and systemic racism not systemic not systematic systemic which I learned the difference recently yeah, I'm trying to grow. We're all trying to do better. I want to be accountable for myself and my actions. And in in being accountable, that means I need to educate myself, read, listen to stories, talk to people, but not take the conversation. Let there be a voice for black and indigenous and people of other people of color just in general it's also like i said buying from black beauty brands buying from um indigenous people and um putting my money where my support is supposed to go you know 
the BIPOC, which is Black, Indigenous, People of Color, um, businesses have been largely underrepresented in general in every aspect, not just in makeup, but this is a makeup channel, so that's what I'm speaking about. So trying to put my money where my mouth is, I guess. And that's kind of going to be my goal for the next, my next phase of my life, I think, is just to take accountability and put money where my mouth is. So anyway, um, short video, I know. I'm just prepping my skin and wanting to get thoughts out. I'm going to go and film. <laughs> And I'm actually excited for the next filming I'm doing. I did actually buy recently, not super recently, a, a bit ago when it all so, sort of first happened. I had some spare cash and I bought um, some more black owned uh, beauty stuff, specifically some glitters and a, a pair of lashes, which I'm very excited about. And I'm going to feature that in my next video that I'm about to film. Um, yeah, I, I want to do better. I'm going to do better. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.